out playing with the Smart 451 today. Um, I'm installing an aftermarket. It says heads up display. It's not a heads up display. It's a, like a little uh, tack voltmeter, coolant meter, all the stuff that I don't have on this car. Uh, and it's going to sit up where the original, uh, where the optional uh, tachometer and clock would sit. I've got a clock there. I don't need another clock. Um, and I'm not paying like $500 for a used tachometer that sits in the middle of the dashboard. This thing was like 30 bucks. It's OBD. It also does OBD diagnostics, uh, fuel, uh, consumption, everything. And it's just going to mount on the dashboard. And first thing I have to do is take off the little original trim piece. just pops up. This one little clip broke on me where it pops out of this little um, press clip there. And if yours does, if you ever have anything plastic that breaks, you know most plastic adhesives don't work. Um, crazy glue, and then dust a little bit of baking soda on it. Do a few layers of that, and it'll be hard as a rock, and it will stay on there. Anyway, this little unit, you can see on the front, it's got like a little foot um, that cuts to size. I mean, you're, there's a million different ones out there, so this is just installing this one. I'm going to be running the wires under the dashboard and plugging into the OBD port. I don't want wires on top of my dash. It's going to be pretty simple. Um, I'll show you this once it's mounted on the uh, on this little thing here that'll just pop back down, and that's where it'll be mounted. Back in a few minutes. Okay, we've got a little mount cut down to where I want it, I think. And I just got to remove the radio so I can run the wire back down from the top and down to the OBD port, which is just under here. Behind the radio before. Hopefully, there's room. But up here, there's like 